And finally, we'll talk about medication to treat depression. The most common class of medication is called the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRI. I recommend strongly considering an antidepressant medication if you scored a 10 or above on the depression screening at the beginning of this lesson. It's important to understand the mechanism whereby serotonin works because many people uh, have some misconceptions that lead them to be hesitant to try them. So we have this neurotransmitter called serotonin. It's responsible for feeling good when we have a positive experience. This is the synapse of one neuron and this is the synapse of another. In order to feel good when we have a positive experience, serotonin has to go from one neuron to the other across the synapse. Serotonin is released, it crosses the synapse to the postsynaptic terminal where it binds to the receptors on the postsynaptic ter terminal and has its effect in the brain. In the brain, we have these Pac-Man figures that break down serotonin after it crosses. Many people with depression have overactive Pac-Man, or serotonin reuptake enzymes. What this means is the serotonin is released, and before it even has a chance to get across, it's eaten up and degraded. It never has its effect on the other side. These medications slow down the activity of these Pac-Man. The, they're called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors because they inhibit the selective serotonin reuptake enzyme. This allows the serotonin to get across the terminal and have its effect on the brain. Why this is important is because some people think that these medications just make you feel good even if you have a good reason to be depressed. They just cover up your real feelings. But what these medications do is they don't introduce a chemical that makes you feel good. They just block the breakdown of the chemical your body was already producing to make you feel good. So if you're having challenges in life, this is not going to just make you go around goofy with a smile on your face. This isn't going to change anything. But if you're genuinely having experiences that are positive, this will allow you to experience these experience. This will allow you to enjoy the response to these experiences because your brain's serotonin system is working properly. So rather than creating happiness, it's allowing happiness from the experiences you have. These medications are not addictive, but it is recommended that you take them for at least three to six months before determining whether or not to continue them. We've talked about tips for treating depression three categories, behavioral strategies, therapy, and medication. I recommend behavioral strategies for everybody, therapy and medication for those with more significant symptoms or impact of depression in their lives.